Hello, I'm Jeremy Wade. Now, the difference between getting a fish in and that fish getting away often comes down to how good or bad your knots are. There are lots of different fishing knots out there, but if you know how to tie just a few well, that will stand you in very good stead. And I'm gonna share a few with you now that I use and that I have confidence in. So the main thing that you will want a knot to do is to tie your line to something like a hook or a swivel. The other thing that you might occasionally need is something that puts a loop in a piece of line. And one context where you might use this is in fly fishing. When I was fly fishing for big arapaima in Guyana, I've got a, a loop in the end of my fly line. The fly line is the line that provides the weight to get the cast out. I then want a leader of completely different material on the end there, and a good way to attach that is, is two loops. One way you can put a loop in a piece of uh, leader line is double the end. You then throw a loop into that, and then you, uh, you put the end through. You're, you're basically making a sort of a, an overhand knot, but using a double, a double piece of line. Then you put it through again, uh, lubricate it as always, pull it tight, and this is, this is something called a surgeon's loop. It's very quick and easy to tie, but the problem with it is not very strong. In percentage terms, this has a knot strength of about 50%. We should be able to do better than that, and luckily we can. There's, a, there's another type of loop you can do, and this is something called a perfection loop. You make a, make a loop like that, you pinch where they join, you go round your thumb like that, you then put the end between the two loops. You pull that little loop through there, tighten it all down. There you go. And the thing about the perfection loop is that tag end comes out at, at right angle. I'll leave a little bit of tag end so that if it does tighten, it doesn't come undone. So there we go, that's the perfection loop. If you imagine two identical sets of gear, same rod, same reel, same fly line, everything apart from the, the loop is different. Sometimes the difference between getting that fish in and that fish getting away, it's not how much money you spent on your reel and all the rest of it, it's what knot you used and how well you tied it.